This is Liz, I'm an HP Certified Repair Technician, and today we're going to be discussing how to fix blue screen error page fault in non-page area. So check first for hardware problems, and then second for software problems, because this particular issue can be either or. So if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So first, get into your laptop, open it up. Uh, you might need to get a disassembly video for your specific model. And we're going to try a big common cause for this problem is that your connections on either your RAM or your hard drive are no longer good. So get to your RAM or hard drive, get inside your, and you're gonna make sure it's nice and snug your RAM. As you can see, I'm really pushing it in there, but not too hard. And also just as a side note, my battery and my power cord are unplugged, so. And I'm just doing what's called reseeding it, which just means taking it out and putting it back in, because sometimes your RAM or your hard drive can come a little loose, or maybe there's some dirt in the connection, uh, and you just need to pull it out and push it back in. So it's really that simple. So that's what we're going to do with the hard drive as well. It would be the same thing if you have a solid state drive. So I'm just going to pull it out. Usually easier than this. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. There we go. And now I'm just going to reseat it or plug it back in. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to put the screws back and I'm going to see if that fixes the problem. Because like I said, uh, it, it's very common to just be a connection issue for this. And if for any reason this doesn't work, we'll proceed on to the next step in the troubleshooting method because we're troubleshooting this the HP way. So might take a couple different steps, but we'll get there. Put all my screws back on my hard drive. And then I'm going to go ahead and try turning back on my machine. If I still get that nasty blue screen error, well, then we're gonna move on to the next step. If you don't get it, well, then you know that was the issue. But the next step is sometimes your RAM goes bad. So the solution for this is we're gonna take out one RAM stick at a time, try turning back on your computer. And if you still get the blue screen error, not a big deal, we're gonna try the other RAM stick because RAM is kind of like headlights on your car. One tends to go bad, and, but not necessarily the other one. So we're gonna try seeing if one of these, taking out one of these RAM sticks uh, resolves the issue. If you do find that you take out one of the RAM sticks, you go ahead and turn your computer back on and then bam, the blue screen error is gone. Then you know that you had a bad RAM stick in. Whichever one was taken out is the one that's causing the problem. So this is what a RAM stick looks like. So if you find you take it out, the issue is resolved. You're gonna need to look for this number, PC42400T or something close to this sounding, and then you need to replace that RAM stick. Okay, so you tried all these things, it didn't work, Liz. Okay, not a big deal, we're gonna move on to the next thing and we're gonna try testing your hard drive. Hit power, and we're gonna start tapping on F9 to check your hardware, because HP's have built-in diagnostic software, not everyone knows that. So I would tap on F9 repeatedly after hitting the start button to access this diagnostic software, because we're gonna check in your hardware to make sure it's functioning properly. Okay, so I'm at my boot menu, with this HP, I have to hit escape to access it. Uh, so I'm just bring you right to it. And when you're at the boot menu, you're going to arrow down and you're going to select di system diagnostic. With some HPs, you can just tap on F2 from startup instead of F9, but it varies from model to model. And then I'm gonna select hit enter to go to system diagnostics. And then once I'm there, I'm going to check my memory. First thing I'm gonna do is do the memory check. I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna hit enter and it will start testing my memory because this particular error can be a hardware or a software issue. So we're not gonna show you one solution because that's not what we do at Egghead Fixers. We're gonna show you all the, the troubleshooting method. So as you can see, my memory quick check passed. So it's not my RAM, it's not my memory. So we're gonna go back to the main menu and now we're gonna test my other main component, the hard drive and do a quick check. Okay, so you can see both pass the hard drive and the RAM. If they hadn't, I would have needed to repair those. If yours doesn't, we have a video down below on how to replace your hard drive. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, if this doesn't work, if the last thing didn't work, you would hit power and start tapping on F11. Because we're gonna now work through the software problem. We're going to tap on F11 to get to your recovery manager, another feature of your HP you probably didn't know about. And we're going to try to factory reset your computer. So we're going to, once you get to this screen, we're going to arrow down to troubleshoot, reset this PC. 
Now there's two options for a soft reset or a hard reset. The soft reset tends not to work for this problem. So you're going to need to do the remove everything, which I know it's sad. You lose all your information, but uh, we're trying to save a computer here. So sometimes the tough solutions are the ones that work. So if you can't access this or you find the reset doesn't work, it could be, um, oh, sorry, I'm going to pause for a second. You can hit fully clean the drive. That's the one you want. And you'll lose all your information, but it usually works. And uh, like I said, if you can't g get the factory reset to work, or if you cannot uh, access it, it could be that your uh, operating system is too corrupt and you need a fresh install. I have a video down below on that. It, skip the hard drive installation portion and just look for the fresh install. So that would be your step after the factory reset if it doesn't work or can't be accessed. But we're going to select the fully clean the drive option and select enter. And hopefully, uh, through this troubleshooting method, you'll be able to repair uh, your computer and get out of that loop. If you have any questions, leave them down Thanks below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.